Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Doc Project 365, episode 194. Today what we're doing is how do we start to build the skill of freehanding handstand push-ups? And to do that, we, we first have to kind of explore what are we actually doing? And really, when we talk about handstand push-ups or freehanding handstand push-ups, I mean, we're actually talking about transitioning from a headstand position, a headstand position, to briefly balancing in a handstand back to transitioning into that headstand position. So, um, before, we go, before we go any further, what I want to do is I just want to say there's a caveat to today's episode. If you are not proficient in doing handstand push-ups and you are not proficient in doing a headstand, today is not the episode for you. We can have progressions and regressions from that. Um, however, I think, uh, I think just watch today, gain the knowledge. But don't necessarily participate because um, we can injure our neck, uh, low back, shoulders, something like that. So keep that in mind. However, moving onwards, say you are proficient in handstand push-ups. And what I mean by that is you can control the descent of your handstand push-up. Okay, that's very important today. And say that you can do pretty proficient headstands. Then we are able to start progressing to doing handstand or free hand, free hand handstand push-ups. Okay, so when we talk about the transition, headstand to handstand to headstand, the most difficult portion probably is balancing ourselves in the handstand position. So we're going to take that out today, and we're going to learn how to receive ourselves into a headstand position. The more stable we can make that position, the better off that we'll have a plant into our handstand, and then we can work on receiving back into a headstand position. I know that gets all boggly. So the first thing I want to do is I want to talk about what makes a good headstand position because it's a little bit different than a handstand. When we talk about handstands, what we really want is we want our shoulders directly in line with our, uh, with our hands. And then uh, as you go up the chain, you want the shoulders, hips, uh, knees, and, and toes really to be all in that same torso, knees, and toes to all be in that direct vertical line. However, when we do a handstand, what we want to think about is three points. When we do a headstand, what we want to think about is three points of contact, right? Because if you look at me in this direction, if I have my hands down here, I'm going to form a triangle. Three points of contact make a tripod, and we all obviously know that that's a decent form of support, right? So that's what we're going to do, is we're going to think about receiving ourselves in a tripod headstand position. I got myself a mat here. That's just because we're on a hardwood floor. Don't feel like busting open my noggin. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to practice our headstand position first, right? So one point of contact, one, two, nice triangle tripod base, okay? Walk ourselves up, get ourselves into that question mark position, that upside down question mark position. It's okay if you want to move your hands uh, a little bit in each direction. It's just for wherever your comfort is, okay? This triangle doesn't actually mean anything. It's just to show you that we want some distance between the head and the hands, okay? Now, to progress with this exercise, when I said that it's really important that we can control the descent, here's why. What we're first going to do is we're going to kip up into a, into a regular handstand position. But as we travel down, we're going to try to get ourselves back into that triangular headstand catching position, and we're going to try to stay away from the wall. So a normal handstand push-up, we would stay against the wall, like that. In this, in this case, what we're trying to do is we're going to try to land away from the wall. And it's going to look like this. We're going to come up, we're going to start in that balanced headstand position. We're going to come up, and then what we're going to do is we're going to try to return ourselves back to that upside down question mark, like such, okay? You'll notice the difference, because I got... No balance against the wall. I got no support from the wall. So basically I'm using the wall. Basically I'm using the wall as a support on the way up, but I'm gonna land in a headstand position and receive myself and catch and balance. One more time, it looks like this. So I start here, come up, lower myself down to the question mark position if I can hold right there. One more time. Back into that position. And the more proficient we get at receiving into a headstand position, the better off our, our freestanding handstand positions will come. Uh, guys, until tomorrow, we are optimizing function to optimize performance.